this uh, University of Navarra workshop. I think it's really, really uh, very interesting for uh, exchanging uh, views on macro prudential issues uh, across European uh, authorities and with the industry and, uh, and the academy. So it's, uh, it's a great, uh, uh, a great uh, workshop. In terms of uh, the opportunity for uh, Banco de España, this has been uh, to show the macroprudential measures that we decided uh, last, uh, last year and to explain the methodology and the framework, so uh, this offers us the possibility to uh, discuss this framework with the public. In this Masters, there are three major uh, areas that we're covering. Uh, the first that's obvious is that we're dealing with the uh, financial crisis um, and then everything coming out of that. So we're dealing with being more prudential, um, we're dealing with things like um, how to work with the regulators, uh, work with the banks. So some of us in the program are going into consulting, uh, some are going directly into the banking industry and then uh, and others of course will even work for the regulators uh, like the central bank. So we've spoken today about how the UK sets pillar two capital requirements. Uh, the UK has been maybe two or three years ahead of the SSM in setting requirements, so there's loads of really, really interesting uh, kind of examples we can take to understand what the future will look like for Spanish banks and banks across Europe. Uh, but what's, what's really interesting about all this for me is just how everything comes together. So the macro prudential policy, the micro prudential policy, stress testing. So uh, I think this is actually a really interesting time to be studying uh, regulation and banking policy uh, because there's lots of opportunities to work with banks, with consultancies, with central banks to kind of understand what this new regime looks like. The ESRB is a European institution which is chaired by the chairman of uh, the uh, European Central Bank, Governor uh, Mario Draghi. It exists since five years and it has uh, been bringing together the governors and the supervisors of Europe as well all the institutions which are looking at the strengths of the banking sector, insurance and the financial markets. Its biggest achievement has been to set up a series of national and European macroprudential authorities which are trying to preserve financial stability for the good and the wealth of the European citizens. Today I talked about the macroprudential framework in the euro area, uh, which is a shared competence between national authorities and the ECB. In particular, the ECB can only uh, top up instruments which are mentioned in the CRD4 CRR when they are used by national authorities, uh, while national authorities uh, have exclusive powers over the instruments which are not mentioned in the CRD4 CRR, such as, for example, loan to value and debt-to-income ratios for mortgages. I think one important point is that the institutional framework is complex, the governance is complicated, but we are all making an effort to work together, ECB staff, national central bank staff and supervisory authorities to achieve the common goal of financial stability in the banking sector in the euro area. I guess the third main area that we're learning in this master's is um, maybe it's more of a subtle thing, but that we have the European Union. So when we're in Madrid, we're not just in Madrid. When we're in London, it's not just London, it's, it's uh, Frankfurt. And everything coming together to comprise the European Union.